Nick Hill. And I'm Jacob. We are eight years old and the collaborators for the book, Two Countries, Three Friends. You're looking at two of Regine Cantor's grandkids reading from a children's book they helped her write. Cantor's love of reading is so evident, her Facebook page is called Grandma Books World. How did this all begin? Grandma Books World started off very simply when my oldest granddaughter, who is now 16, was two years old and getting her um, language. She would stand in the window when she knew I was coming because she knew I brought a big bag of books. And she'd stand there and call, Grandma, Grandma. And then she would, when the minute the car pulled up, she'd go, book. And I became Grandma Book. Her books have a common theme, teach kids about other countries and cultures. Hi, my name's Caroline and I'm Grandma Book's granddaughter. Ray Jean noticed a void when her six-year-old granddaughter was about to take a trip overseas and Cantor was looking for a kid's book on India. I went to the bookstore and they said, oh, we don't have anything like that. We have uh, Adora the Explorer, but nothing really, you know, concentrating on countries or cultures for children at all. Okay, time to get started. So that's when I started writing and that's when we wrote the first book, Grandma Books World Vietnam. With a master's in education, Cantor has always enjoyed reading to kids. An avid traveler, she adores learning about foreign cultures. So why doesn't this 74-year-old just choose total retirement? Because I like my sanity. This really keeps me busy, and it keeps my mind busy, and it keeps me giving back to other people. Ray Jean, a widow, is also engaged. How did she meet a compatible partner? Through a dating service. <laughs> I met CJ. We started to do just casual kind of dating. As we did more of that, we learned more about each other and started to travel. We have virtually traveled around the world together and uh, are planning as soon as we can get our shots to be back out there because we love to travel. He's a very caring man. I feel like a princess a lot of times because he does take good care of me. You know, it's like I do the cooking. After I get done cooking and we eat, I don't pick up a dish because if I try to, he'll go, I can do that. Very intelligent, very fun to be with just a wonderful person. So I'm so happy that he's in my life. They had to cancel their wedding last year because of the pandemic. Now they plan to walk down the aisle this year. And to take this step is a gift. Cantor recently marked another crucial milestone. I am a 37 year breast cancer survivor. And this December 2nd was very important because I'm 74. So that means Half my life has been led as a cancer survivor. And that makes her all the more determined to give kids a wider view of the world. We would like to expose children to international cultures in order for them to understand inclusivity better. This is our way of saying, yes, racism exists and people are different but let's look at how we're the same. With her book, A Wish for a Christmas Dress, Cantor led a drive that donated clothes to kids in Africa. She wishes, she wished that she could have a new world. So this one is a very special book because this is where my heart is in philanthropy. So this is philanthropy for children. Through this book, we have been able to send out 1,500 pieces of children's clothing, mostly dresses, to Africa over the last three years. Listen to what a woman from Zimbabwe had to say about her mission. She made me promise never to stop the dress drive. She said, what you are doing about these kids' self-esteem is more than anybody can even imagine. She said, it's how I got out of Africa because I got a little box from the U.S. And I thought, if somebody cares enough about me, I can care. Regine Cantor has done a lot in her life. She ran the Potawatomi Foundation, worked for the Department of Instruction, headed up the March of Dimes, and was an executive director for Community Health Services. She was even a youth minister. She's been promoting the value of learning all her life. Let's learn some things about koalas. A variety of experiences has gifted her with the wisdom to chase her passions. Through Raging Cantor, you see a grandmother inspiring kids, helping international neighbors, 
She prompts us to remember it's never too late to open a new chapter. My goal now is to keep my eyes open for what God is calling me to do right now. Because all of this came about because a little Polish girl from the South Side was given a lot of gifts by God. And he gave her the wisdom to know he was giving them. So that's what I have to do. I have to continue to listen. Listen to where I am supposed to be and what I am to be doing now. And I truly feel that this is my mission right now, are my books. I think my books do make a difference.